I'm Patricia McNeely. I'm a Blu-ray twin flame from Chicago, Illinois. How are you today? I hope you're doing well. Today, what I want to talk to you about is passion is the plan. So you're seeing it out there. We're having a lot of split offs, a lot of splintering and people just saying, I don't know what's going on. And you want to know why? Because this is at another level entirety and the doors to the past are closing. So a lot of this has to do with leaving the worst aspects of the fourth dimension behind. So what's going to help with that? We have three planets in a sign that's going to help you burn it off. But with that comes burning and sensations and emotions. You have Uranus, which is the inspirer. So part of that is that your inspiration, and you might feel flat out. You might say, I don't know which end is up. I don't know about my abundance. I feel like I've been doing the work, but I have precious little to show for it. I've been working. I've been working at this for years. So some of this is the culmination of some things that started in 2016 at a much deeper level. And where it actually started prior to that was actually at some point in um, the 2000s, like from 2001 to 2004. Then you jump forward. You have some other things that started in 2007 through 2009. Then you jump forward. And you have 2012 and 2014. So this energy that we're in is closing the loops. It is bringing about uh, some really weird closure that you might not be able to equate with love. Because that's what a lot of us will say. Like, how could this be love? It feels like anything but love. But you see... That is exactly what you're getting rid of. So when you do, you will find that your body goes through some things. So I'm here to teach you about the body, which I do in my classes. Now, there's no good in just talking and saying, well, digestive, unless I tell you what to do about it. That is what I teach. That is what I have in my classes and my tutorials, and I teach it live as well. But your inspiration is springing you forward from your subconscious, but your super consciousness, okay? Your super consciousness. What does this have to do? It has to do with your higher self. It has to do with your connections. It has to be with you being sovereign. What is your sovereignty? Sovereign means that you're pretty much a self-sufficient being who's able to create for them, themselves. And this is where a lot of the patterns that have been there in the past are closing up. And it's throwing people off because the usual indicators aren't there. The usual indicators aren't there with um, the weather and a lot of other, other sectors. It throws people off, though. That's the hardest part is that sometimes you can say, I don't know what to do next. Maybe your best course of action is don't do anything. And people will say that too. They will say, well, I've decided to focus on myself. Why have you stopped focusing on yourself? You always should focus on yourself. That's number one. It's the same thing they say on an airplane. In the event, please put the oxygen mask on yourself. Then you can turn around and help people. But there's a difference for twin flames. And that is how deeply you are connected how things have been tangled up in history because now you have two people doing the disentangling and that's where it gets challenging and that's why you know we're here that's why there are teachers and that is why it goes beyond just reading springing forward so some people can feel like there actually is a catapulting effect you know, pew, getting them forward and the springing effect. Now, this is significant, especially for people in the Southern Hemisphere. If you are in South America, if you are in Australia, if you are in the African continent, 
If you're below the equator and we're having uh, another season change coming up here, we just went through one, but the solstice coming is going to be significant. It's bringing you forward. Okay. For some of you, it's starting up already, but for more people, it's going to happen a little bit closer to that solstice. What does it mean for people in the Northern Hemisphere? It means that a lot of you have already had that push. You started having it bing, to get you going forward, catapult you. And some of you felt it. You might have felt it like a crescendo, like, oh, like that. And you're feeling it, you're feeling it, you're feeling it. And have you crested yet? Have you gotten? Well, what actually is happening is that you're getting to a level where things can actually start to and continue to unwind, unwrap it, open it up, expand it. That's where people don't know how to do this because if you keep doing things from the old paradigm, little by little, it's not going to serve you as well as it has in the past. That's not a criticism. That's a fact because it's based on ancient things and you're new you're very new it's like trying to fix a, a modern vehicle with a owner's manual from 1910 model t ford it's just not going to be sufficient might tell you a few things like how to change the oil but that might be about it in terms of you your body's already changing the oil but you have to be active about the other parts of your body, getting your channels open and helping that with your inspirations because your abundance, and people will say this, they'll say, I don't know where my abundant flow went. Do you know how much your finances have been connected to your chakras? You may not know that. You might find that to be a separate thing. A lot of people are still in the mode of separating all aspects of their life. This is your spiritual side and there's everything else. Well, no, it's all a part of you. And not only that, it's been a part of your history. So there is that factor as well. When it's a part of your history, how do you disentangle? How do you keep moving forward if there's a cord pulling you back, if there's cords, if there's ties, if there's contracts, if there's agreements, if you're trying to keep the same old thing in place? Or is it your twin? Because that is the hard part to really discern. When you have these things and you may feel blocked, what's sticking you? What's holding you? What's your twin doing that's hanging you up? But without blaming with being able to move it with love. And it doesn't just mean doing this and going, I'm white lighting them, I'm sending them love. You got to get it moving. This is going to affect right now your digestive areas, the throat, and your cosmic level chakras. You may feel exhaustion. You may feel your throat tightening. You may be waking up every single night that's happening for a lot of people they're not understanding it and even while there's a lot of advertisements for sleeping aids or medicines or melatonin it doesn't actually tell you what's going on and when you smooth things over here's the thing to know you can numb it out you can dumb it down but it's going to come back because the parts of you that need to get adjusted will continue and it will perpetuate until you're clear and you're upgraded. It's that simple. So that's not to knock people who need a good night's sleep. I'm all in favor of getting a good night's sleep. I love my sleep. I love my dreams. My dreams have been very revealing. But when you're waking up and you're exhausted and you need to take care of your responsibilities. Maybe you get up and you feel like you're dying. There's something to know about that too. Do you want to live? Okay, you feel like you're dying. Does that make you feel like you want to live? Because that also is something that is disentangling. That's a pattern where people have said, well, I might as well die. I might as well just give up. That comes from somewhere. It's not something you invented. It's not a natural part of the authentic being that you are. And yet it can feel like that. So the feelings have emotions. Feelings don't come from the mind. 
they come from inside and they come from the past. So what does your super consciousness want to bring forward for you? How does it want to set you up? How does that part of you that's looking out for you want to help you and set you up? So let's say we have this um, other, we have several energetics going on here. We're coming up to a really big moon energy. We're smack in the middle of some retrograde energy. And I'm going to say it's sort of that backside when the pendulum swings the other way. And you have people that, you know, talk about the patriarchy or the matriarchy. So you can have many, many aspects of the patriarchy. But who is it? Because it's not just men, okay? It's been the women that have upheld some of this stuff. It's been women that perpetuate it. So you can't just say it's as simple as men and women, although that is a part of it. Of course it's a part of it. Okay? Women keep score. Men go into their cave. Okay, well, what happens when women go into their cave? You know, is it him? Because these men belong to someone. There's someone on the other side who loves them. Just as you have women, who have these women been in other lives? Okay, what's their matriarchy? Have they been Amazon warriors? Do they come from a place where, you know, they're in control? Sure they have, because that's happened throughout history. We don't maybe recall it or we remember it as mythology or stories. I'll tell you what's happening in a lot of my sessions lately. I've been having people show up whose past lives have been affected by war, been affected by the Holocaust, have been affected by genocides, have been affected by slavery. So I'm going to read something here. I found this when I was going to do my workout. It's from the National Domestic Violence Hotline. It says, does your partner ever embarrass you with put downs? Control what you do, where you go, who you see or talk to. Push, slap, choke, or hit you. Tell you that you are a bad parent or threaten to take away your children. Prevent you from working or attending school. If you answered yes to any of these questions, you're probably dealing with someone who is abusive and that person may have a good heart that they don't know that they're doing it. They too are perpetuating patterns. But something is inspiring you from within your super consciousness to spring you forward and to get out of that situation. How do you get out of it if there's still strings and cords still binding you? How do you get out of it if you are afraid of your finances? How do you get it moving where you don't want one other confrontation? I know ways to get it moving so that it would start to occur very naturally. Now, when I do speak with people, that's where we start. And the reason is, is that I can feel their high heart energy and that is why I say I read the heart. I don't read the mind. It's not that I'm unaware of what's in a person's mind. In fact, many times it's very prominent. But reading the heart energy to let me know where, do, where does it get shifted, I do it with guidance, even though we start by talking. Why talking? Because it opens the heart energy. For me, it is that simple. So... This is the main reason I don't do email readings because the questions go back and forth and it's not that I can't feel, it's not the way I like to interact with someone. That's just me though. And I can tell you this, that it's limited. What I'm capable of helping people with is really getting their energy shifted. And this is a time for the passion to be able to get deep inside where it belongs for the people. Now, that's one of the splinters out there, I would say, is where people would say, this is being with your twin is an entirely platonic thing. No, it's not. Absolutely not. It is 
passion from out of this world because it comes from beyond this world. If that passion has been used for other purposes, so let's say you have a couple, all right, and there's a beautiful couple, but someone comes to them and says, listen, I don't want you with her. You back off upon pain of death. And I'm going to hurt her. Don't you think that that person is using passion against them? They are using their love or their passion. Or what if someone has been coerced using the love? This has happened throughout history so many times that that in itself is a fearful pattern. What happens with people that have lived in a place that has been populated by different types of people? They've had to learn to get along. But what happens with their emotions? They get really suppressed. Really, really suppressed. Well, we're in energy where that's going to burn off. And Uranus is going to make these quick changes. Scorpio and Uranus, boom. You're going to see these fast-moving changes that just really, really throw people off. And yet, there's a good purpose served with it. Okay, Uranus is the inspirer. And really, you have connections because that is a part of your cosmic level chakras. It has to do with who you really are. And living a passionate life, passion that is intimate, passion that is really hot and fiery and spicy. So I have a song that came to me. And the song is, I want to kiss you all over. A lot of you know it. It's from the 70s. I want to kiss you all over, all over again. I want to kiss you all over, dun, 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 till the night closes in, till the night closes in. Stay with me, lay with me, holding me, loving me, baby. Okay, so you can go look up that song, but that's the song. How do you kiss each other all over? Because some people, they've even been hurt by kissing. They've had a sweet, pure, innocent kiss tainted by someone who's creepy. How do you get it back to the kissing, to the passion? How do you kiss each other all over? How do you kiss each other inside? That happens through the things that I create with getting your channels open with getting deep inside and knowing how to get inside and getting higher. So if you're trying to do it with this part of the mind, that's going to be insufficient. It's just insufficient. Your third eye isn't enough. Your frontal lobe isn't enough. It's just not enough. Not to mention, it's all clogged up with memories there. How do you do it? You have to do it with the parts of your body that actually count. And there's a reason that these areas are clearing. Your throat is very important. So if your throat is tightening, this doesn't necessarily mean, oh, I think my twin is going to be talking. I can feel it. The words want to burst out. Maybe there's a lot more than words that need to burst out. Maybe all the things they didn't get to say to you, yes, those have to come out. But maybe they're screams. Maybe they're um, injustices. Maybe whoever they've said, I love you to, and they didn't mean it. Lots of stuff. Lots of stuff is going to come out and surprise people. And when those surprising things happen, I help you get it back on track. That is what I'm here for. I'm here to help you when you start to feel like you're split in two, or you start to feel that things are spinning for you, or you even feel lost. You feel lost in this. I'm here to get you higher focused. I'm here to help reconnect you. That is what I do. I teach it. I've been saying this from day one when I did my first video in 2014. You have body connections. You have a connection on the inside of you. Now, I also have a couple of, uh, I have an event coming up. I am able to do energy work and causal body sessions. 
I have two webinars which are very helpful in this energy. One is called Being Home with Each Other. This is about creating the home, um, doing some of the higher grid work, your safe zones, and many other topics in here, including about these parts of you. And thriving in two dimensions. This has to do with where you're headed. So this I prepared, and this is available for you for what's coming up. So this is why some of us, including myself, get pushed forward so that we can get, then turn around. Why? Because your pathway to success begins here. This came in the mail, but I thought it was perfect. So I'm including it here. Your pathway to success begins here. And it begins here, and it begins here, and it begins here, and it begins here. It begins inside your body. And... That's how you do it. Okay, you're not going to be able to phone it in. Another thing to mention doing things with the mental and emotional parts of you will be not sufficient for doing this. You have many, many other parts of you. In fact, many of you have subtle body connections that you're only just going to become aware of. And that's going to leave people lost in this because while we would like love to be as simple as Hey, I talked to my twin and they copped everything and we're in love and, you know, we're moving in and everything. Or I'm already living in union. Okay. If you haven't unified your subtle bodies, there's more to come for you. So I don't rule out that people are living with their twin. Some are, but it's like saying, but wait, there's more. And you will have even more delightful experiences. So. We're actually in much different energy. We are in a place right now that's very transitional for people while the fourth dimensional breakdowns occur. And that gets weird. It just gets weird. In fact, it's so weird I did an entire webinar on the weird parts of it to help you and to enable you to help. So I start with this, being home with each other, because in here I talk about... Uh, what you can experience when it breaks down, everything from those feelings that we call a phenomenon where so many people, but they don't understand it. They want to know, does this happen to everyone? So I'm going to say this. Are you on a twin flame journey? Yes, if you felt it in the past, you might feel like you're turning your back on it. It's not turning its back on you. Love will find a way in. If you need a break, take a break. If you're not sure which things click with you out on the internet, that's okay. That's a part of your discernment. And that's also a part of this rift that's going on, this splitting away effect, where some people are saying things, and I've never said people aren't coming together in love. What I have said is, not every twin flame is on the planet. What does that tell you? Cosmic level, ladies and gentlemen. Those cosmic level parts of you are now coming down to earth. Time to integrate. Time to integrate. Time to associate. Time for the passion. Because passion is the plan. Where did you leave your passion last? Who killed you over passion? What love triangle took it from you? What war took your lover from you? What situation made you two fall apart from each other? See, it's not always the things that have been actively done by you. Even though you may have been the victim in it, you might be the collateral damage in a larger scale thing. And that is what people don't sometimes uh, discern because that takes a special level like the level I have had to be able to discern what is some of the backstory? What planetary system did this or that happen in? I have those connections. But ultimately, at the end of the day, you still want your lover to be kissing you and hugging you and caring for you and kissing you all over. And that's what you shall have because you deserve it. Just like you deserve quality things and very good food, nutrition, nurturance. Those all go hand in hand with your abundance. 
the financial means to do something. The way to do things where you don't feel that others are clinging to either of you. What's interfering with you? So there's a lot of, um, I would say, incomplete information. I won't call it misinformation, but where it goes is it goes about as far as the person's head can take it. And what I'm saying to you is come to me and find out what else there is for you, okay? If someone's going along and boom, they just can't see the forest through the trees and they're going to go out and report it to everyone and say, well, hey, you know, guess what? You might as well go home. It's not for everyone. I say, no, uh-uh, okay? I also had some people write and say, you know, Patricia, I'm starting to uh, understand I need help with this or that. I'm getting help for my depression. I'm getting help for my ADHD. And I applaud you. I really do. Because helping yourself and maybe, maybe now the doors are more open and maybe you weren't afraid or maybe it can now be recognized for what it is as a relatively mild speed bump in your journey home to love and that you're finally able to address it. Because when we close the lion's gate, we close the doors to the past that says what? Are you crazy? No, you're not crazy. You have some stuff. Come and get rid of it. Come and get healthy. Come and find out how to shift your own energies. Because what I am here to do is help people to prime their channels open so that it's natural to you and you keep doing it yourself. And you feel your own promptings, your own guidance, your own mission, your own thing that you want to do to make money your way that your love wants to express itself in the world and make your heart one giant tractor beam that just pulls your twin towards you to where you can't miss each other because you're really not two boats passing in the night, okay? There's already a connection. That also was a part of the plan. Connecting the heart was a part of the plan. There are no mistakes being made with this. And we're not leaving things to chance either, even though you could say, you know, yesterday is history, tomorrow's a mystery. It's not a mystery. You know what you love. You love your twin. You know the things you love. You know the things you want for your life. And that is why I say it's not a mystery. It's about you. And you're going to make your future what you want. And come and find out. I am going to be in California live the 26th to the 28th with a class. I will be there. Let me know if you'd like to meet with me or join the class. You can email me at twinflamesmerge at gmail.com. I know that I'm able to help people get their situations and energy shifted within several sessions. We cut the time in half of what it normally takes, at least in half, for situations you may have, energy or causal body session, and try my webinars, being home with each other and thriving in two dimensions. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.